I've done a lot of videos comparing pumps, recommending pumps, even a webinar on the best breast pumps for working moms, which you can find down below if you're interested. But I've never done a video on the worst pumps, so let's do it. To be honest, I almost didn't push play and start filming this because I really don't like to say bad things or um, talk down on stuff, but let's just talk about a few pumps that are like for working moms, some of the worst recommendations. And I just kind of cringe a little bit when I see these pumps. So I don't know if you already have one of these pumps and it works well for you, don't feel bad. Or if it was one that you had to choose, you know, from your insurance or something, that doesn't mean that we can't make it work. And we'll talk about that too in this video, but anyway, don't feel bad. This is totally just my opinion on some of the worst pumps for working moms who really need a good pump. Okay, first, let's start off with a pump that I see a lot from insurance companies. It's an expensive pump, so it's one of the most common ones I'm seeing on lists for insurance companies. I already hate this video. <laughs> I just don't like doing this. Okay, but it is the Lantino Signature Pro. I have had a really hard time getting this pump to perform well on my testing. The max suction is subpar, to be honest. And then when you divide it in half for double pumping, it's difficult. It's just, it's just a difficult pump, right? And I think sometimes when I'm working with moms and this is the pump that they're using or they have used in the past, this is one of those times where I say, okay, we, we'll, we can try a couple things, but just so you know, we might actually have to get a new pump. And I don't say that very often. Almost always we can figure something out. We can work with what we've got. And if that's all we got, then we will work with it, right? But that is one of my least favorites, especially for someone who needs a really good pump. Now, if you're pumping occasionally or you're mostly feeding at the breast and you just kind of want that pump and this is a free option from your insurance, it might be totally fine. So... I'm specifically talking about a mom who has to leave her baby and go back to work. If you were feeding at the breast and now we're relying on a pump at work, that is not one that I usually recommend if we have a choice. Lantano does make a better pump. Their smart pump, their 2.0 that I, is kind of like their upgrade, is actually a nice pump and I have been able to get that one to perform really well. So it's not that Lantano pumps are bad, it's like this specific one. And unfortunately I do see it a lot. Okay, number two. Anytime I see a user pumping with a very inexpensive, usually an Amazon fine pump, it's always a red flag for me. So here's an example of one of those. This is the Bella Baby wearable. Now I don't like particularly hate this pump or, you know, not that I don't recommend it either, but it is, it's a cheap pump, right? Like I think I got this for $20 on Amazon. It was like $80 originally. And then they had like a $60 off coupon. And now I love a good deal and I'm all for saving money. We do not have to spend thousands of dollars on breast pumps to make your journey work. And that's definitely not what I'm saying. But anytime we find a really, really inexpensive pump, it just is kind of a red flag for me. Now I have had a member inside of our program who used this pump at work. This was not her only pump, <laughs> obviously, but for a wearable, she wanted something cheap and easy. This pump is loud and kind of clanky. Like it is inexpensive, but it worked for her for what she was looking for. And it, it was cheap. So not that that you can't get away with that, but anytime I see these like crazy off brand or like, oh yeah, I got a sweet deal on this. It was 25 bucks. I'm just like, okay, well, that's a flag for me. We're going to just make sure that it's performing how you want it. And I wouldn't trust my supply with something like that as my only pump, but it can be a fun, like, oh, I'm going to use it while I commute or just here and there, whatever. Now I do love a good deal. And so we have tons of coupons. In fact, we have a whole page on our website that's dedicated to coupon codes for you because companies will usually work with us because we talk about a lot of pumps so we can get discount codes and save you some money and all that kind of stuff. And you can find that link down in the description in any video, but it's also on the website, newlittlelife.com. 
This one in particular too, one last thing, is also a wearable pump. So anytime you are adding wearable on top of things, like it just makes me nervous. And we talk about wearable pumps in that webinar that I mentioned, the best breast pumps for working moms. We talk about wearables and, and what to look for in a good wearable because those can be a little bit tricky in managing your supply and your output. And we just wanna make sure that you get a good one, that you know how to use it, and that you know the signs to watch for in case it's not working like we anticipate. Okay, number three makes me sad <laughs> because I really wanted to love this pump, especially for working moms, which is kind of who it was designed for, like an all-in-one, we're gonna have everything in here, but man, we have had so many problems troubleshooting this pump with users and I just am not, I'm never recommending it anymore because it has some things to work out. And that is the pump from Babyation. Now, the reason this makes me sad is because this is really pushing the boundaries in new technology and I love that. They are really thinking outside the box and coming up with some new designs the flanges for this are like something you've never seen before. And honestly, the intent is there. Like you can store it all in here. This is your cooler, your milk, like everything is here. I, I love the concept and I love advancing technology in new ways that we hadn't thought of. But this pump did miss the mark for me and I just, we had too many problems with it, more problems than success and for me that's a red flag. It is kind of fun to be part of, of new technology and new advances and so, you know, I hope some of you watching aren't like, yep, I got a $500 piece of junk sitting over there, <laughs> you know, and oh, I'm so sorry, but it it also is, you know, good. We're, we're moving in the right direction, but every new advance in technology can't always be a hit. And this one was a miss for me. Okay, and then lastly, number four on my list is not the Spectra, <laughs> but it is any pump that you hate using. And that might be a really solid pump like the Spectra, which a lot of people really like. But I mean, this is big and bulky. And if for some reason you hate using it or it just doesn't work for what you're trying to do, then it is the worst pump for you, right? And so never get caught up in this mindset that there are excellent pumps, like the best on the market, and then there's the worst. Sometimes it is all about you and what you want and what you need, right? I have worked with moms inside my program who have really busy jobs. Um, for example, a surgeon and she's in surgery and she cannot step away to pump with something like the Spectra, although it's a fantastic pump. We got to have a different option for you. And I think this is a really important thing to remember is I wish I could give you a one through 400 list of pumps, putting the best one at the top but it's just not how it works. It depends on what you're looking for, what your goals are, um, what problems you've had in the past. Have you had nipple trauma in the past or damage from your nursing little one or you know surgery before? There's just like a whole range of things. And this is where I really like working with moms individually. And I get to do that inside my Pumping for Working Moms program. Not only do we choose breast pumps in there, but we troubleshoot the ones that you already have. My favorite thing to do is really figure out how to make your pump work without you having to buy a new one, especially if you're gonna invest in our program and in the help that's there. I don't want you to also have to be buying more and more pumps, that's not our goal. We're trying to get you to pump fast and efficiently and to protect your milk supply at work, which is some of the hardest things to do. Inside of our program, they're usually feeding at the breast as well. And then they have to go back to work and learn a whole new skill set of pumping in the workplace, not to mention tackling their career and doing the work that they have to do. It's just, it's a lot to juggle. And so if you need that step-by-step -step learning, like I can teach you everything you need to know about this and you can have easy access to professionals. Myself and other pumping experts are inside of there to help you. This is what we're here for. It's lifetime access to our program, so we never kick you out. I want you to have support for the whole time. Anyway, if you're interested in working with us, you can click the link down below to apply, and we'd love to chat with you on a call. I hope that 
this helped in your breast pump selection? This is probably one of the most common questions that I get. So there are tons of resources down for you in the description. Like I said, webinars, coupons, more videos. If you want help from me, come and join me and we'll go beyond choosing a pump and really figuring out how to make pumping work well for you while you go back to work. Anyway, have fun. Let me know what other pumps maybe you hate in the comments. Let's do that today. <laughs> we'll just talk about ones that didn't work for us and go from there. I hope to see you on the next video. Happy pumping.